G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here today, and I've got the two-shot explosive minigun. Now, this is going to be fun. I'm going to explain this weapon's damage uh, pretty concisely. Um, it kills quite easily. Not really that much to say about it. Alright, so coming on to this private, we'll just kill him with splash damage. I don't have to explain why this thing has so much damage, you can see it, but I will anyway, because i got to talk about something. So basically, it's a minigun, it's going to fire fast as hell, and you're going to be firing two shots per, you know, actual firing cycle, I guess, if you like that. And each of the two shots that you fire per one shot, or oh, is getting confusing, it will turn into explosions, so you get two explosions per shot. So the explosions themselves do a reasonable amount of damage, so you'll be looking at around mm, about 100 to 180 ish damage per shot at a rough guess. That is if both of your projectiles hit. So definitely not a bad weapon here. Only problem with this weapon is it's act extremely easy to kill yourself with it. But you don't even really have to aim for it to do very... Well, don't have to aim with it at all, really. You can just sort of bounce it off any sort of surface near him and here's a kill. Like I said, you can kill yourself with it. I have no idea what actually killed me then, but whatever. Hey, let's try and kill these turrets again without killing ourselves. There, yeah, much easier. Now, what the hell made me die here? That's where I was firing, right? Okay. Maybe I need to keep tabs on my splash damage range a little bit more effectively. Alright, so you know how good it would be against the mobs. Let's try some monsters now, shall we? Alrighty, so here's one. We'll definitely kill him very, very quickly with this gun. Now, looking back, I think I might have done an explosive two-shot Gatling laser in the past. But since these weapons are very similar, I wonder which weapon actually has the higher damage. My thinking is that it might be the explosive minigun, provided it has the accelerated barrel. It might be able to fire its rounds off just a little bit faster than you would with a Gatling laser. Not particularly breaking any sweat, it's just got to keep moving away from him and the explosive damage will pretty much finish him off for you. Definitely an easy kill. And if, if we're lucky, we might be able to lift him off. Not quite. But we will create enough explosions on the screen to glitch the sound out, so that's fun. We'll move on to something else. Alrighty, so you joined me once again in a pretty terrible radiation storm. Nice green lighting there. And it's time to kill this giant ghoul. Should be a simple task, seeing as we're able to stagger him at a pretty damn good rate. And we'll also get lots of explosive damage during that stagger, and he dies very, very easily indeed. Now, it's time to find the synth nemesis around here somewhere. There it is. Let's get all sneak up, sneaky and close, and we'll just let her have it in the face. What do you know, a minigun is a pretty damn good stealth weapon after all, provided it's explosive and two-shot. Now you might want to keep popping that Stimpax in, because you're gonna die. Hmm, that was almost too easy. Although not easily on my ears, the sound is very glitchy when it comes to a lot of explosions at once. But... I think a buff might be in order for this synth, but for now, to space with you. We'll test it on. One more monster. Okay, so welcome to the glowing sea, home to the meanest, toughest, scariest deathclaw you'll find in this mod, and let's see if we can't kill him in one simple go. So, let's start lighting him up while he's occupied with some of the local red scorpions and we'll jump up here to avoid his massive claws
what happens when your pathing is so messed up that you have to run away. That's right, you better run, Deathclaw. And I'll kill your mate over there anyway. Alright, now that he's far away, we might lure him towards. And down he goes. Look at the size of the claws on this one. That would cut open a car with ease. And there's the level up sound finally catching up. Yeah, this gun breaks the sound a little bit. So just be wary of that. If you, you have this mod on console, it might actually do worse considering how your, you know, consoles generally aren't that good on performance or it might even be better optimized. I don't know. But thank you for watching anyway. I'll see you next time.